Hello, darlings. This is the beginning of a new series where I will discuss different animals and characters' fashion. By the title of the video, we know this is for the Kaiba brothers. I will discuss the wardrobe story for the boys. If you want to see the Yu-Gi-Oh! girls' fashion analysis, click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. And if you want to see any other anime or character, comment down below and let me know about it. Let's start! The reason the Kaiba brothers have their own video, aside from my obvious bias, is because the boys have a long story arc all through Yu-Gi-Oh! and the largest wardrobe range from all the Yu-Gi-Oh! male characters. I will not discuss pre Seto in this video though. The reason will be on the next video. Some general knowledge from the Yu-Gi-Oh! male fashion is the constant use of jackets and showing their personality throughout their hairstyles. Yu-Gi-Oh! fashion is based on the late 80s and early 90s. So going back to Kit Seto and Mokuba, the early years are based on the 80s fashion. They wore a lot of preppy clothes, meaning their family background was not just a commoner's family. That would explain a lot on why they were thrown out in a way to get the family inheritance. While being in the orphanage, we can see a slightly change of outfit to wearing t-shirts and shorts might also mean it was summer season, but there's not enough information about that. And on the duel with Gosaburo, we see again Seto wearing the same outfit as when he got sent to the orphanage. And also when he was under the Gosaburo reign, amplifying the chances that his family background might be a wealthy one. While living with Gosaburo, we see the same 80s outfit in both Mokuba and Seto, wearing preppy clothes for the wealthy as a popular way to demonstrate your wealth. We also see how Mokuba had a more relaxed look than his elder brother. And on the teen years of Seto, the use of the military suit that was very popular among school uniforms in Japan all throughout the 1930s to the 2010s and even though he was homeschooled, he chose to wear the uniform as a fashion statement. Also, in the 1990s is where the schoolgirl fashion was at its peak and school kids, especially girls, will modify or stay with their school uniform after school. And some even had made up special school uniforms for after school. After Gosoburo's death, the brother had another outfit metamorphosis. While Seto still wore the military white uniform, Mokuba has a high range of wardrobe in the preppy fashion and also wore his favorite games merch, representing not only his childful behavior but his liking for the game. Mokuba represents far too well the 1990s fashion all throughout the series. During and after Seto's coma in Dulles Kingdom, Mokuba is seen wearing a beanie, very popular in the era, used by skaters, rappers and punks and also personalized with an M in the front. He is wearing sneakers and his usual t-shirt with a bandana. Bandanas were also wore everywhere too, in the forehead, in the wrist and even as shirts. Mokuba is a kid aware of the surroundings. And Seto dropped the military look after the coma and chose a more discreet and popular fashion among the computer tech prodigies. Wearing formal pants and shirts, but still taking a youthful initiative in wearing a long coat instead of a suit. Jackets and long coats were usually worn by the preppy class with the usual windbreaker look. I used to do that with my shirts too back in the days. But Seto not wearing a suit underneath. Matching the coat with his outfit gives a more casual and not so uptight look to his 16 year old self. And the open collar can be seen as a representation of not being changed to the military range of Gosoburo anymore. After Julie's Kingdom, we can see Seto wearing something looking like a leather trench coat on top of his soon to be iconic turtleneck. Coats in the 90s were starting to get at its peak, some without shoulder pads and others with extreme shoulder pads, like seen worn by Seto in this outfit. 
we can't forget the many, many varieties of suits Front Fine wore in the nanny. I'm still waiting for Mina Lee, Modern Girls, or Clever and Chic to talk about this type of analysis. I'll leave that job to them. So we can see that Seto has a big variety of coats for his looks. And the turtleneck is a nice representation of his high-tech prodigy, just like Steve Jobs back in the 90s. We also noticed the start of use of leather pants that was very popular on the goth fashion. As much as leather jackets were popular, although it's nice to think the fabric of the coats are leather, it is also considered to be corduroy since they don't represent too much of the shine in the manga. So, next outfit we see the brothers wearing is the Battle City outfit. Seto is wearing his leather pants, black turtleneck as a way of minimizing his young tech businessman look and onto that he adds some combat boots with leather straps and also leather straps on his arms. Wearing accessories on the arms for the boys was a very popular among celebrities but a few of the youth would follow along. We also see his iconic sleeveless trench coat with a red fabric in the inside. The sleeveless trench coat was very popular among the goth community and also between the Dungeons and Dragons geeks of the era. The studs gave a nice punk look from the 90s and the red inside gave the couture from the brands of the era. He also wear metal bracelets in his arms, could be for protection on the dual disc since it was mentioned that it was very uncomfortable or for protection for himself. But also, having stuff in the wrist was not seen different in the 90s. So Seto's look, putting it a name, would be something like a young preppy snob tech company owner with some goth and punk undergrounds. Moving with Mokuba, the kid keeps rocking his tennis shoes and the jeans from the moment. I wouldn't doubt that his jeans would probably be ripped too. We still see him wearing his preppy striped long sleeve shirts and now he wears a sleeveless windbreaker. Stripes were very popular among the high class in comparison with the other types of patterns and also wearing a sleeveless windbreaker looking very familiar to the Back to the Future Marty's outfit, although you might think this look would be out of date, it was also used in the 90s. Some of those sleeveless outfits were also worn with a hoodie. In Yu-Gi-Oh! R we see new outfits for the boys, them wearing matching white suits. Cashmere white suits need a lot of maintenance, and we also see Sato rocking his white suit with a blue shirt underneath on the filler arcs. Moving to Dark Sides of Dimension, we see an upgrade on the iconic black and white suit. His new shirt having an invisible stripe and looking very close to this leather jacket. His trench coat having more subtle studs, meaning he already wore off the old trench coat, still rocking his combat boots and leather pants. Now we see a complete outfit change in a now teenager Mokuba, wearing a full formal suit. I have to mention, vests were popular in the time. Everyone was wearing them, with or without a shirt underneath. As a business boy, he also wears a white jacket to represent his status, against most likely from cashmere, and colorful pants where instead of the usual jeans they would probably be from corduroy. Now with the boys' hairstyles, even though the bowl haircut was very popular and we see some characters wearing that sort of haircut, also the long edgy look was very popular among the youth, on difference with other long versions of a mullet, probably most of them not being able to get their hair too long because of school policies. We can spot how most of them are getting their hair grow long and we can spot that comparing hair lengths between other characters. If we have to put a name to Mokuba's overall look, it would be the preppy high fashion flexing snob. I just have to mention that Mother Basement did a very well analysis on the shonen fashion from a male point of view, tackling many important things and also talking about Yu-Gi-Oh fashion. It was very enjoyable to watch. Don't forget to comment what anime you want to see next, hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.